Hello and welcome. Uh, I designed this PVC and a five gallon bucket honey spinner a little while ago and it's garnered a decent amount of attention and actually quite a few questions. So I figured I'd shoot a little video and see if I could help explain some of the methodology and answer some of the questions. For starters, I can go ahead and pull out the spinner. Um, I have all the, the piece parts and uh, quantity and cost and everything and cut dimensions on the blog, so I'm not going to go over that here. Uh, just enough to show that you take the individual medium frames out. Uh, I did design this for a medium. You could make it a shallow. You would just have to reduce a few dimensions. Um, deep would be difficult because it won't fit in the five gallon bucket because of how tall the frames are. Um, but mostly PVC, a few metal parts, um, very cheap and easy to build for just about anyone. When I install, I have one tab going in one direction. And I usually try and make the other tab go on the other side so that it balances a little bit. And so it's caught this way, it's caught this way, fully captured. And then I would drop it in. So let me show this. Um, because the frames are so long in this dimension, I've had to take multiple buckets, cut the hole, cut the bottoms out to make the holes big and have a lot of clearance, uh, and stack multiples to get enough height so that when you spin it, it doesn't uh, fling it out at you. Um, this bucket here is kind of important. There's a one inch hole to allow, well, it might not actually be an inch, I forget the exact dimension hole, however big enough to allow your PVC to go in and hopefully not much bigger. Um, and then the other holes allow uh, the honey to drain out. So this guy goes on there like that. So that's your bottom bearing. And you can have a little bit of slop there, but you don't want too much because then this gets spinning fast. Um, and last but not least, it's just a regular bucket with a honey gate in the bottom. Um, this is optional. If you don't want this, you could just spin a couple of frames, take this assembly out, and dump this. In. The, the honey gate makes it a little bit more convenient. So you start with this bucket, the one with the holes in the bottom, and then let me just show you. If you didn't have that, these side ones, you would be stacking like this. So you go to spin, it gets everywhere. But you stack enough other buckets with the bottoms missing. And now when you spin it, you don't get wet honey. Couldn't be easier.